Hey guys, this is Powell. Today we're going to be going over the bones of the femur and the hip bones. Um, I'm going to make some other videos on other bones of the body. Make sure to check that out. We'll leave the link in the description. Um, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. So this is the femur. It's pretty large. It's the biggest bone in the, in the human body. Um, you're going to notice that you have the head of the femur right over here. And so that is a good way to tell if it's a left or a right femur. So this right here is a left femur. Um, you can tell because the anterior portion is smooth and then the posterior portion is a little bit rough. Um, which I forgot to mention on the humerus, um, it's the exact opposite. The posterior portion is going to be smooth and then the anterior portion is going to be rough with ridges. Okay, so like we said, we got the head of the femur right over here. And at the tip of the head, you're going to see a little divot. That little divot right over there is called the fovea capitis. And so where the ligament attaches the femur into the socket of the hip. You have the neck of the femur, which is right over here. Um, within, after the neck, you're going to notice two bumps. You're going to have the greater trochanter and the lesser trochanter. This is the, going to be the greater trochanter right over here. The lesser trochanter is going to be this little edge poking out over here. It's better viewed on the posterior aspect, the lesser trochanter. Um, within right over here, you're going to have a fossa. This fossa right here is called the trochanteric fossa. Make sure I'm pointing yeah, right there, trochanteric fossa. Um, on the posterior aspect, you have a trochanteric, intertrochanteric crest, and in the anterior portion, you have an intertrochanteric line um, that connects the, the line is going to be right over here connects the anterior, uh, the greater tubercle, trochanter, to the lesser trochanter. All right, um, and a good way to remember that is the line is kind of a straight line, whereas the crest, which is posterior, forms almost a C, the letter C. So that's how I remember the, the crest is on the posterior aspect and the line is on the anterior aspect. Now we're still in the posterior aspect. Um, right over here, we have another tubercle. This one's called the quadrate tubercle. And then we have the shaft. So this is the, the shaft. You're going to tell um, that there's going to be a little bump right here. This bump right here is going to be the gluteal tuberosity on the lateral aspect. So remember, this is the posterior. So it's just like this. This is going to be the lateral aspect. Lateral aspect, you have the gluteal tuberosity. And following the gluteal tuberosity, you have a gluteal line. Now, a little bit more medial, you have the pectineal line right over here that arises from the bottom of the lesser trochanter. The pectineal line comes down and meets the gluteal line to form the linea aspera, which is this long line down the shaft. It's pretty easy to feel. Um, it's that sharp pointy edge. If you look at the bone, it's that little sharp edge right there. It's the linea aspera. Um, and then at the very distal end, you have your adductor tubercle, which is going to be on the medial end. So adductor tubercle right over there. You also have your medial epicondyle a little bit lower, lateral epicondyle on the other end, um, and you have your patellar groove right over there. So that's it with the femur. It's pretty simple. Um, let's jump into the hip bone. This is your hip bone. Um, it's made up of three, three parts of the ilium, uh, the ischium, and the pubis. So the way that I like to orient myself again is the ball and socket right here, as long as the acetabulum. That's gonna be face, facing outwards. So if you can imagine, oh, this opposite ends. This kit is not matching, but don't worry about the bottom end, but this would be how it would, how it would fit. All right. Um, you also have your sacrum, so let me put things in perspective. This is your sacrum, which we're gonna go over in another video. Um, the sacrum would fit right like that. Mm. There you go. Just like that. Uh, we're gonna go over the sacrum in the vertebrae video. Okay. So, like I said, there are three, it's made up of three bones. You have your ilium right over here, you have your pubis, and then you have your ischium on the very bottom. So let's start with the, il the ilium. You have your iliac. This right here is your iliac crest. Um, within the crest, you're going to have an iliac tubercle. That's going to be this little elevation right here on the crest. And you have your iliac tuberosity, which would be this rough patch right over here. Um, it's more posterior and it's much larger. Just following the iliac tuberosity, you're going to have an auricular surface. Auricular surface is right here. And right after the auricular surface, you're going to have an arcuate line, this part right here. 
the arcuate line will connect to the pectineal line right over here. Um, the arcuate line connects to the pectineal line through this eminence right over here. It's called your iliopubic eminence. Connects the pubis bone to the ilium. Um, let's see what else we got on here. You can see right over here, we got two notches. This notch right here is a greater side notch. This is a lesser side notch. Let's try it on this angle. This is the greater side notch, lesser side notch, and separated right here by the ischial spine. Okay, that's the ischial spine. Um, if you talk about the four, okay, we got, we got the anterior superior iliac crest. Remember, this is anterior. This is oriented just like this, or right pelvis. Um, you got your anterior superior iliac spine anterior inferior iliac spine, right over here. ASIS, AIS, and then on the posterior aspect, you got the posterior superior iliac spine, PSIS, and then the posterior inferior iliac spine, right here, which you were not able to palpate that part. Okay, um, let's go into the ischium. So we're done with that. Let's go into the ischium right here. We said we got your ischial spine right over here. At the very bottom, right here, you got your ischial tuberosity. Okay. This is actually when you, when you when you sit on a chair, that's the part that's actually touching the chair. Um, you have your body of the ischium. Okay. And then let's go into your pubis right over here. Um, oh, forgot, we got the rami. The rami is right over here, the ramus of the ischium. You only have one ramus of the ischium, unlike the pubis, which you have two. You have your superior ramus of the pubis right over here, and then you have your inferior ramus of the pubis right here. Superior inferior pubis, uh, ramus, the pubis. Um, we talked about your, your iliopubic eminence, arcuate line, uh, pectineal line, excuse me, arcuate line, iliopubic eminence, pectineal line, which is also known as the pubic pectin. You have your pubic tubercle, which is more anterior right over here. It's the elevation at the anterior aspect. And then you have your pubic crest, which connects your pubic tubercle to the pubic symphysis. Um, and then right over here, it would be your pubic symphysis. Um, right over here is your symphyseal surface. And so you can imagine if the hip is oriented just like this, another one connects right here, your pubic um, symphysis would be right over here. You have your acetabulum, that's the ball and socket joint. And then right underneath it, you have your obturator foramen. It's pretty large. Um, and then at the very anterior aspect, at the very superior aspect of it, you have your obturator groove. Um, so let's go over to pelvic brim real quick. Um, so like I said, you have your sacrum that's gonna sit just like that. So the pelvic brim, if you can imagine, let's try to see if balance that. Pelvic brim is going to be forming this end right here. You have a lot of things that make up the pelvic brim. The first one is the sacral promontory, which is going to be this right here. It's the sacral promontory. And then you have the ala of the sacrum, which is right here, also known as the wings of the sacrum. Okay. You have your arcuate line. Oh, this is your SI joint between the sacrum and the iliac. This is your SI joint right here. Remember, it's bilateral. There's another one on this side. Arcuate line. Then you have your pectineal line. You got your pubic tubercle right over here, and you got your pubic crest, and then your pubic symphysis right here. All right, that's it with that. Thanks.